Phil, um, you know, you were our first paid user. You were an early adopter. I literally. I love it. Yeah. And, and thank you so much. I mean, like you really validated it, uh, this for us. I probably, you know, without your permission, name dropped you more than a few times, but they're like, oh yeah, I know Phil. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. <laughs> you know, thank you for that. But so, you know, um, you had, had kind of uh, mentioned, uh, you know, um, uh, when you got our first report and even before that, even on the call, you were like, this is a brilliant idea. You, you were thinking about something like this. So kind of, can you share with everyone, uh, you know, now that, uh, you know, you've been a user for so long, what kind of value uh, does this bring uh, a commercial agent that sells multifamily investments and, and, and with their clients and stuff? Well, great question. So, you know, we always want to, we pride ourselves in, you know, being, as complete as brokers as you know we could be, uh, we we did you know I think thirty of the five transactions last year, thirty six for multifamily. We did ten development sites as well. Mm -hmm. You know we underwrite a lot of them. I think you know we get close to maxing out uh, our tokens each, uh, <laughs> each month. A couple times we went over. Yeah. Uh, you know it's a big help. You know uh, just because. Uh, it offers a very quick service. We can turn that around very quickly and, you know, present it to the client and we can work off of the information from, you know, your report to, you know, better help uh, developers mo model it out. And uh, I do love that you guys have expanded to other areas. Yesterday, you know, Glenn was not getting through to the city of South Pasadena uh, and, you know, we were able to turn around that report very quickly, you know, because we have such a term, uh, we have to, we have to generate the, uh, price it, the property out yesterday and put out a report today for the attorneys this morning. So even the, the guys from South Pasadena planning said, we'll get back to you on Wednesday morning at the earliest because everybody's tied up. So, um, you know, it's something that everybody needs, you know, in order to be a complete broker. Um, and to, you know, uh, to piggyback on that. So one, one thing I really like about it is, when you're pricing out a development deal, how many, how much you, can, you know, how many units you can build, the FAR you can get, how many square feet, all everything is so intricately intertwined with what the land is worth. And if uh, we're looking at the normal zoning, we don't dive too deep into it. If we, if you miss a setback or you miss it this, and it's actually two less buildable units, and you price it wrong, you hit the market, you price wrong, then you, you you look stupid to the buyers. Right. You know, if it's not if it's not accurate information. So by having accurate information, it helps us. One, the clients love seeing the numbers about what their lot could be. Everyone's always told them, but to see the numbers on paper is a different experience for the client. And then for us, make sure the deal is priced right, uh, so we can actually get offers to get the deal sold. You know, if if if, if we're saying 17 buildable units, it's actually 14, we're not going to get the price that we put it on the market for, and then we look bad to the client to the market to everyone. yeah and to piggyback off of what that says you know everybody you know who has the favorable zoning on their lot like let's say r3 or four or five even better better they know that and they probably got calls from different developers but being able to really show the report to a client and sit down with them and say hey look mathematically you get to 150 units but on this tiny lot either you build you know 100 square foot units or you can't really build that many, you know? So then, you know, they realize based on the envelope, based on the height uh, restriction that, you know, the property is not what some other brokers might have told them that you get a hundred thousand per buildable, you know, just because it says that on paper. So we love that about the service. And in due time, you know, we don't want it. Like we, I told you, you know, two years ago, we don't want to spread the word just because <laughs> you're doing a great job. And I'm sure you guys can blow up even more because I know you're working with all the heavy hitters now. <laughs> Absolutely. That was uh, that was really good advice. Uh, that was definitely something that we didn't expect, but you know, rightfully so. It just made us work a little bit harder, and I think uh, I think we it's starting to show now.